Hi guys, so um, happy new year 2017, hope you all had a good festive period, um, that's back to norm. Um, so yeah, so this is now first new RC car of the year, um, another Traxxas, so this time I've gone for the Traxxas Slash, um, which is one of the cars that I don't have in my arsenal, so now I've got the Traxxas Slash, um, always wanted this car. Now let's open it up, so it's going to be the unboxing video. So, just got the box, it's literally been in the house five minutes, just got delivered from DPD. Um, hopefully this camera, we've got a new camera coming, I keep saying that, but um, hopefully my new camera arrives, but this is on my old crap camera, so hopefully it doesn't die halfway through the video again. Um, so yeah, let's keep this short and sweet, so many unboxing videos, let's get rid of the box. Just going to put the car down, brand new sealed, so just want to make sure it's still going, yep, video's still rolling. So, I went for, this is the Traxxas Slash, now let's check it's the colour I wanted, um, but I went for, this is the VXL two-wheel drive version, um, I didn't go for the onboard audio because honestly I want this car to kind of be, uh, the onboard audio I think is a little gimmicky, I mean if you want a car that makes noise I think get a nitro, but to have something that's kind of, it's a bit like spokey dokies on your BMX bike, um, putting something in the spokes when you were cycling as a kid to make some sound, uh, it's a bit of a gimmick. Um, and it's another thing to go wrong. I think I'd use it a couple of times on board audio and then just turn it off because I'd just be embarrassed. Or it's just not my cup of tea, I think. I'd just do my head in. So, also, it's another thing to go wrong. Um, you have to pay extra for it. Um, I also went for the two wheel drive over the four wheel drive because I wanted something to keep it reliable. Um, I, <laughs> I know there's not much difference, but there's just more things to go wrong on a four-wheel drive. And I kind of like the two-wheel drive, all my other vehicles are two-wheel drive, except for the HPI. Uh, I just like the back end sliding out. Um, it's just my cup of tea, I think, so less things to go wrong. Um, I've heard stories of these slashes being really reliable, the most spare parts on the market. Um, also, there we go, we'll cut the tape. I mean, less things to go wrong, two wheel drive, loads and loads of spares for these cars, I've heard stories of these, like guys going into the repair shop to deal with these original cars, eight year, years old and still running completely fine, so, alright, let's get this car out of the box, it's taking me ages, there we go, spin it around, So it's come out on its roof, so let's take the manual and bits, put them to one side. Right, so we've got the in red, which was the colour I wanted, with black down the front. It's quite a common colour. Let's bring this in. So we've got the Traxxas two-wheel drive slash. Take the body pins off. quite a big shell as you can see, it's massive, um, it's the shell of the car, pretty cool colours, so there we go for the shell, um, as you can see the shell is literally as long as my arm, so fairly big, taking that off, so tyres, there we go, it's not a rubbish camera but it's a pick it up and move it in. Tyres as you can see are quite um, quite small, I'm surprised actually, they're quite small tyres on here. Um, knobbly, sort of, sort of semi, sort of roady, off-roady kind of jack of all trades for like gravel and sand. Um, 
front bumper sticks out quite a way in front of the wheels which is good because many RC cars don't and the back so it protects the wheels front and back which is a good design um, again on the shell I've not seen these before but they're like um, they're almost like handles but they will push out I'm guessing so the shell will go against them for side impacts to give it some st strength um, the VXL motor in the back uh, springs on here, it's all stock at the moment, um, white springs, this stupid thing's always stuck on it. I'm going to stick a two cell LiPo straight in, comes with a standard battery right in the middle here, um, that's going to come out because I don't really like standard batteries, they take too long to charge and they don't last very long, so that will go. Uh, Two cell lipo will go in. Funny enough, the actual wire looks to run under here and over to the servo, which is just held down by a bit of sellotape. Um, so the battery goes above that. Uh, if you can see it, um, it's literally this bit here. There's just a wire with tape over the top, um, which is a bit crap, really. It doesn't. It's not very professionally done. Let's stick a bit of sellotape to hold that wire so the battery goes over it. Um, so I wonder if they're all models are like that. Um, I guess it won't really matter, but it just it just bugs me. Why have a bit of sellotape holding a wire down? Why not just have some clips or something? It's just crap. Um, so what else have we got? Let's flip it up. It's really, really light for what it is, which is probably a good thing. It means it's going to fly over the jumps. Um, and not be too heavy when it comes crashing down um, as to break into a million pieces just under here, I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see where the servo is, it's underneath um, so it comes out underneath the vehicle and then you've got this um, uh, like this is the arm that then turns the wheels, which is yeah, it's kind of different, I've not seen that before um, so front bumper and the wheels, Let's get the rear of the vehicle, lots of plastic, um, but there's not much, pop that back down, in it to go wrong. Um, let's just see if I can show you that crappy sellotape. Here you go, so you've got the wire running over here, receiver coming across, and then this is where the tape is. Sellotape holding a wire down underneath the battery. Brilliant. <laughs> um, sorry, this is my bit of a rant. <laughs> um, okay, let's put the shell back on. Alright, so to show you how big the shell is, if I pick the shell up and hold it against my body, you can see it is a big shell. Um, for a small vehicle, yes. Yeah, pretty huge. So just bringing you back into the car, let's pop the lid back on. There you go. So as you can see, this is the, uh, let's take the camera off and do some spin around with it. Sorry about that. So yeah, this is the actual car itself. It is pretty cool. It's Traxxas Slash two wheel drive VXL. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. It looks pretty neat. The next thing is to obviously get out there and uh, give it a drive. So this comes in UK pounds and what's the price? £360. Well, 350, yeah, 359.99. So that's the price. And then in the box, obviously, is the. Uh, uh, there's no point if you watch my other videos, but it can Once you open one, they're all the same. All the Traxxas cars. They'll come with the same remote uh, manual with the bits and pieces in. Stock battery. As you can see, Traxxas power cell. Uh, NI 
MH3000 milliamp. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is, at the moment it's stock, I'm going to stick in a uh, two cell um, Venom LiPo battery um, and run it stock and then brake parts. As parts break, upgrade them, but it's a pretty durable vehicle from what I've read. Lots of parts available. You can go along with the sort of aluminium route to stick in aluminium shock caps, aluminium um, axle carriers, and all sorts of things if you need to. Um, but it's just more expensive. You can change everything to RPM parts, you know, RPM bumpers, RPM, um, I forget what these called, towers. Um, yeah, but what I'll do is, cheapest way to do it is just to change the parts as they break. So, yeah, this is the Traxxas two wheel drive slash. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, any comments, let me know. Or um, next video I get is me taking it out. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Peace out, guys. Take it easy.